Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. What do you need to know? So Esther says it's time. We're going to be seeing what it's time for. The time has come. I do want to mention to you guys that um, before I started the camera, um, I kind of knocked over a deck and only one card fell um and it was the marriage card so spirit may be saying that it's time for a union here it could be time for an engagement for a marriage this card does say you may get engaged or commit you may get engaged or commit to something or someone because you feel in your heart to be right you're ready to give your all to something you can emotionally and deeply connect with so that could be um what's coming in here for you um soon when it comes to you and your twin but we have five of wands we have the knight of swords Mm, I kind of don't like that though. I kind of don't like the five of wands and the knight of swords. That seems like somebody coming in to argue with you. And that has actually been coming through in the collective readings. Who had a reading like that? Leo. Leo had a reading like that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the knight of swords. We have ace of wands. Yeah, somebody coming in very passionately. Clarify it's time. We have children. Interesting. So... We're going to see what that's about. Clarify the Five of Wands. The Emperor. Aries Energy. Hmm. Clarify the Knight of... So the, the, the Masculine Energy is conflicted. The Knight of Swords clarified by the Ghosting card. So we have... Somebody is coming in because I feel like there's a lack of closure to, when it comes to the situation with you. Or they feel like you're acting a little bit... Like a little too nonchalant. Or like you're not... You don't care about something here. And I, they could be pissed off about this, to be honest. Clarify the Ace of Wands, the Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody also thinks that things can still work out between the two of you. Like, they still think that the two of you can be successful together. I feel like somebody also wants your attention. They want your attention back on them. So what is It's Time and Children? Because what is that about? Dark Night of the Soul. I feel like Spirit is saying that it's like... With children and it's time and the dark night of the soul, it's like almost like it's time. Somebody can't run from healing their inner child anymore. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like somebody cannot run. Something's happening around the next full moon. Okay, guys, I don't know because we do have a full moon, I think, coming up. Something's definitely happening around the full moon. Mm hmm. Somebody could be getting clarity of emotion or um, something. I don't know. We're going to see. But dark night of the soul. Maybe someone's going to finally start going through the dark night of the soul. I don't know. But it's something to do with, it looks like inner child healing. Um, let's see. Children. Dark night of the soul. Knight of pentacles. And the ten of pentacles. Yeah. It's like starting the process slowly but surely towards ten of pentacles. That's marriage. That's marriage, that's long-term stability, wealth, family, union, solid foundation, all that. So, um, what is up with this person? The, the masculine pissed off here. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, they could be feeling burdened. I feel like this person has a lot that they're not saying to you. And it's like kind of getting a little overwhelming for them. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Sag, yeah, Sag and um, Pisces Energy. Something is changing. In what way? Divine timing. See, patience is needed. Surrender into the unknown. So, is someone about to, like, uh, surrender here? What is, what's this change? The Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and the Seven of Cups, and the Temperance card. Huh. What about the Queen of Cups? The star, Aquarius, energy, the king of swords. Yeah, I feel like there's a masculine energy. Yeah, queen of swords. What's that with you? Somebody's getting clarity. It's like there's two people here who like are like really not showing their emotions to one another, but they still maybe like have like a hope. Like you guys both want each other. Because it says what you want wants you. It's like you guys both desire for something to happen between the two of you. Like that's what you guys w wish to happen. But there's, there, there's like a matter of divine timing fate uh karma change that needs to happen before these two people it's like something 
But who's this Queen of Cups, though? There needs to be healing. You have the Page of Wands and the King of Cups. Yeah, it's like... Guys, I can't with this right now. Hiding feelings. Two people that love the shit out of each other that are acting like they don't really have... It's like both of you guys are wearing a mask right now. You don't feel comfortable showing this person your emotions. They don't feel comfortable showing you their emotions. But you guys still both hope that or wish that something will manifest here between the two of you. When it's like you guys are disguising yourselves as the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. When you guys are actually the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Like you guys both love the shit out of each other. Yeah. Yeah hiding feelings here so it's like you guys both have a fear of vulnerability that like you guys are both guarded towards each other you guys are both not expressing to one another how you feel why is the page of wands here though mirror yeah you guys are in the same exact energy you guys may maybe both want to send each other a message to you guys both want to talk or you guys have some both have something you want to say but you guys are definitely kind of like in the same energy right now yeah and come both conflicted not sure if you should say something not sure if you should just stay quiet yeah, Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Swords. What is that about? The Six of Cups. Somebody is in this energy where they're trying to strategize, like, how to have, return and have something steady with you. Yeah, Four of Swords. Yeah. It's like somebody's withdrawn right now. But High Priestess, Pisces Energy, the Page of Cups, and the Devil. It's almost like someone's acting withdrawn, but this person is... A, a little obsessed with you and i don't think that you're gonna get an apology from this person that they want to work on something with you they don't want to let you go yeah they don't yeah so let's see is someone gonna crack here because you guys are both kind of just mirroring each other you guys are in the same energy you're got you, you're both guarded towards one another they're like you're not expressing your feelings and emotions your wants your intentions they're not doing it either so let's see how does um my collective feel about this person i see someone coming in here with some communication with the knight of wands i mean the knight of swords the ghost yeah the elusive energy the five of wands i think this person and it looks like it's going to be the masculine energy that's going to rush in with some type of communication before we look at that what is how does my collective feel about this person how does my collective feel about this person yeah, that you need to have boundaries in place with them. That you need to not like give in to them so easily. Like you need to be like, maybe you need to feel like you need to focus on yourself. But you guys are, you probably quite possibly are pissed off at them, or you feel like you need to protect yourself from them. You you can't show. Yeah, look at this. You feel like you can't trust this person. Yeah, you feel like this is way that you need to protect yourself from. You feel like they're deceptive. You feel like they make false promises. You guys may also feel like you see them very clearly. You you see the truth. You see the situation for what it is. You see them for who they are. And you feel like this person, if you show them any inkling that you have feelings and emotions for them, they use that against you or they play on that. So you guys are kind of like keeping your, your feelings and emotions close to you. You know, you're not showing it to this person. What about the Eight of Swords? The money focus. So somebody, you feel like this is somebody that is, oh, you guys may feel like this person's stuck in a situation because of money. Yeah, you may feel like this person stuck or trapped in a situation because they or they chose money over love and now they're stuck in a situation or you feel like this person is always worried about money. That their financial situation is that has been affecting your connection with them. Give me one more. We have the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. What about the Eight of Pentacles though? One more. Hiding feelings, yeah. Worth the effort of putting in the work. It's almost like I feel like you want this person to come towards you and put in the work and the effort. Like, I don't feel like you guys want to show your hand to them, but I think you want to, yeah, you want it, you just want it to be balanced and you want it to be fair. So, with the Six of Pentacles coming out, that makes me feel like you guys feel like you've, you've shown them enough of your emotions, you've put in enough effort, and they haven't really reciprocated that. So, you're wanting this person to come in and do something first, or you feel like it's time for them to put in some work and some effort. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person caused you a lot of burdens or you feel like they have a lot of burdens or they're holding on to a lot of baggage or something like that. So what is this um, Five of Wands, Knight of Swords, Ghosting, Knight of Pentacles? So 
the page of pentacles somebody like moving towards you slowly wanting a new opportunity with you yeah somebody returning yeah wanting to spend some time with you wanting to possibly ask you out on a date four of swords but with the rejection card here either are you rejecting this person or are they still kind of resisting the connection with the, yeah four of swords i don't like this it's like i see somebody returning but then like and you may even spend some time with them if you like i would see them proposing that they want to see you or like you know let's go out on a date and then they would go back to like resisting the connection or they would withdraw maybe that's what they've done already but with the ghosting card it's like when they withdraw from you yeah what about the world though I'm, maybe before i say what i want to say the queen of pentacles the wishing and the nine of pentacles replaying events suffering in silence it's almost like i think this person thinks that they they thought they could come in and spend a little bit of time with you somebody's been like dragging their feet or taking their time with like offering you something or coming back toward you this is somebody that you guys spend some time together and then they like start resisting the connection or they start rejecting you and then they pull back their energy or something like that and then like they they like they pull back their energy and then they rush back in. it's like but it's like it's never over for them with this ghosting this elusive energy no closure it's like when they pull back they don't ever have the intention to stay away forever they come back when they want to and it's like they, they take their time with coming back to you or they think they can but i feel like for some of you this person has been dragging their feet with coming back towards you they've been taking their time they did return or they will return wanting like to try to like restart something with you or have a new opportunity with you spend some time with you and i think you guys may end up rejecting this person this person has a big ego too but you guys may end up rejecting them or like choosing to be alone or you may like just stay silent not say anything to them when they reach out to you and with the world and the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles i feel like this person kind of feels like they thought it wasn't over between the two of you but like maybe because you're rejecting them they do feel like it's over now and um yeah because you gotta yeah freedom and independence love without commitment they weren't really even trying to give you anything stable stable and solid anyways maybe this person is regretting not giving because we do have this wishing what are they wishing for it's like they're replaying everything that has happened between the two of you they're not saying anything but they're suffering in silence the sun leo energy and the three of pentacles yeah it's like they thought that y'all were going to end up together like they thought there was going to be growth like they they were thinking positively about the two of you guys like being able to work together and like come together reunite and what now what's happening now too many cards. The other grief. I saw grieving. There's something's not. Yeah, the fool and the king of wands. Okay, and the eight of wands. Okay, what now? The king of pentacles. The king of cups. Okay, so this person thinks you have a new person or something. Yeah, look, I told you, long wait. It says putting your life on hold is going to take a while. They were. They've been making you wait for a long time while they've been withdrawn or in in hermit mode. Hmm. Why is there two kings here? Are they thinking that you've met somebody else? Mirroring. Why is there two kings here? Ten of Wands. The Chariot. And the Ace of Swords. That what? See, this person thinks that you're sleeping with other people. Judgment, Scorpio Energy, and Unawakened. They could even have been trying to come towards you for a sexual encounter. I don't know. Is there anything else from the tarot um, that they need to know before I move on? Anything else from the tarot? Because, I mean, the first card that I saw was marriage, so I don't really know how we're getting to that point. But maybe you guys are going to end up getting married to another person. I don't know. But what is so... What was I going to say? I just lost my train of thought. Anything else from the tarot before I move on? So we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. All I can say, guys, is that somebody is returning, wanting another chance with you or wanting a new opportunity with you. Give me two more. We have Wishing again. And we have Seven of Swords. See, it's like somebody's spying on you or watching you. They're kind of being, like, they're kind of, they're trying to hide that they're, like, suffering. Somebody's trying to play it cool or something like that. What is the Seven of Swords? The Queen of Swords. And the Strength card yeah and yeah somebody's like trying to tame their emotions 
It's like somebody feels like they're getting karma. Or they feel like you being in this new, very guarded, like, cutthroat energy is their karma. But it's like, and they're thinking about everything that has happened between the two of you. And it's like, they're trying to hide that they're, like, suffering in silence. What is the deception? Yeah, I'm telling you guys, for some of you, they're trying, mm, this person is, is in despair because they were hiding a third party from you. But I know, I think it's more so, somebody is trying to hide from you that they're heartbroken over you. Like, they are sad. They're, they're suffering in silence. But yeah, what is unawakened? lovers okay now what though what about present energy the sun see this is somebody that didn't realize how much how deep that how much you meant to them and how deep this connection was now they're realizing it because they're heartbroken over you now that you're you're like in this energy where you're like more cutthroat with them and you you're cutting them off and you're guarded towards them and you're not speaking to them or you're blocking them or whatever you're doing they're trying to tame their emotions and act like they're not heartbroken over you, but they are. They are getting their karma. That spirit says balance is being restored. Justice is Libra energy. They know that they deserve this, okay? They know they deserve for you to be in this energy. It's like this is somebody that's starting to realize that they love the shit out of you, but because, with yeah, they at some point they were like unawakened or they couldn't understand what was going on between the two of you. But that this was of always the lover's connection. This lover's card literally says twin flame connection on it. Um, always knew they were attracted to you, but i don't know but with the sun card it's like there, there's everything is there's being light you know they're seeing the light yeah ten of pentacles and the ten of swords it's like they feel like they've missed out now they they're see they're feeling like y'all could have been the ten of pentacles which is that long lasting union marriage solid foundation but now with the ten of swords it's maybe that's not a possibility anymore yeah they feel like it's yeah the fool what was the fool though the page of cups i think they're going to still try to revive this even though they betrayed you in some way or they messed this up but with the fool and the page of cups i think this person is going to come towards you with an apology um they're going to take a leap of faith and what is that going to lead to the four of cups i don't know you guys may not you guys may ignore this person yeah the eight of cups and the wheel of fortune yeah i feel, I feel like they may come in and try to make amends with you take a leap of faith and apologize and all that stuff but with the Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, oh, I see you guys like either you're, you're going to maybe reject this offer or you're going to, yeah, you're going to walk away. But Spirit says that this is what's meant to happen with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like you and this person need to do, still do some more like introspection. You still need to spend some time with yourself. What type of change is this bringing, is this bringing about? The Empress. What about the Empress? The Three of Cups. Okay. And the Divine Timing. So Spirit says you and this person will come back together in Divine Timing. It's like almost spirit is nudging you. It says like it's safe that like they're nudging you to walk away from this person for right now. And they're telling you that it's safe. They're saying with the three of cups that you and this person will come back together at some point. But it will happen in divine timing. But it says patience is needed and surrender to the unknown. And why is this separation necessary? And so change can happen with the wheel of fortune. It's so that this dynamic between you and this person can change. Because this person needs to let go of their player ways. They have a lot of temptations. They're in the devil energy. They need to work on all those things. Yeah, eight of wands. What about the eight of wands? And maybe this is going to give them the motivation. Uh, this is going to really inspire them or trigger them to really get a move on with the eight of wands. Because it says sudden change. So, like, things are going to actually change really quickly after you make this decision to walk away from this person, even if it is temporarily. But just know, I do see them coming in trying to, like, make amends or apologize or whatever. Um, possibly even trying to argue with you or it may turn into an argument because this person is bothered that you are acting like you don't care so but i just feel like spirit is saying that you need to protect your energy from, you need to protect yourself from this person right now they also need to learn to let their guard down and not be so defensive with you that they're emotionally unavailable or they're not they're not in an energy where they're really well, ready to let you in that's why we have that rejection card and that card talks about like you know them not being re ready to let down their walls they're still very much in their ego so I think that you got to let this person go through their dark night of the soul. You got to let this person go through their process. Um, this is somebody that is going to realize the de and they're coming towards you, but they still don't quite understand like how they really feel about you. I feel like through the heartbreak or through them feeling like they've lost you or this disconnect that's going to happen between the two of you, they're going to be doing a lot of soul searching and reflecting and introspecting. And I think they're also going to be really realizing the, the depth of their emotions for you, the significance of this connection. So it's kind of just like, it's not the right time. I mean, I do see it's time here. They need to heal their inner child too. But it's just what's, what it's time for is that this person can no longer run from themselves anymore. They can no longer run from doing the healing work and changing and walking away from things and going, you know, working on these addictions and these, whatever, the, whatever it is, they can't run from it anymore. 
they can't run from healing their inner child. Um, and it's really because you had, you're in this energy where you're setting these boundaries with them because this person is like, you know, the collective is not somebody that I want to lose. Like, or like, you know, just the, this person is going to be heartbroken when you don't accept their apology or when you don't take them back right now. But it's just, it's just something that this person needs to go through. Yeah, look at this too. The Page of Swords, the High Priestess. What's this? Karmic Partner, Nine of Cups, and the... You know what I'm getting, guys? They still have lessons to learn. They got some lessons that they still need to learn when it comes to a karmic partner or like... Yeah, they could even... You know what? There could even be a karmic that's watching you. Yeah, this, there's like a person that's... Like a karmic that's keeping tabs on you. Yeah, it's like there's something that they could even be hiding a karmic attachment from you still. Yeah, I don't know. They still have lessons to learn. They could even have gossiping people around them. I don't know. There's a lot. They, they have some decluttering to do. So there are, this rejection is actually going to trigger them to awaken. Um, so let me get a few more clarifiers. Um... And then I'm going to take, oh, guys, I'm dropping the whole damn deck. Yeah, look at how the toxic card wants to show itself to me right there. And habitual liar. Ooh, so yeah, this person, not good for you. Low vibrational, toxic relationship. This person, um, Spirit says you deserve, I just saw karmic relationship. Yeah, this person has a lot. They're possibly with a karmic still. Trying to talk to you about how they want, I don't know what they're coming for. Are you arguing with you or trying to apologize and stuff like that they need to worry about the situation that they are dealing with at the like this other situation yeah i just saw the forbidden fruit they know that they're, they're not even supposed to be like really trying to deal with you right now so we have yeah heartbreak breakup suffering and grieving unable to move on so i feel like this person is not going to be able to let you go yeah they're heartbroken over the breakup or the separation between the two of you we have old school it says takes things slow takes dating seriously old-fashioned thinking whatever that's about let's see we have cursed so yeah string of bad relationships karmic cycle yeah the evil eye against time mm -hmm. rushing before it's too late took a long time walking on thin eyes like i said it's something about this person feeling like they're really about to lose you or that they have lost you or whatever that is making this person feel like they need to hurry up and get their life together. Like all those things that they've been putting off doing and changing and working on and healing, they're going to start feeling like they have to like quickly like get their shit together. And they have plenty of time to do this and, you know, not have to rush and do it, but they chose not to do it that way. So we have heartbreak, first love and angry. See, yeah. No one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. For some of you, this person is mad because they feel like they can't move on from you. And they think that you are open to new love or you have found a new love. And they're pissed off about this. So that could be what they're coming in to argue with you about. Like they're mad because they feel like they can't get over you and they can't move on from you. But you, you're over there, you know, dating and moving on and having new love experiences. Because we have resentment, invalidated, mistreated, being triggered. So clarify old school. We have divine intervention. So, yes, yeah, it says believe in miracles. So, at some point, Spirit says that you and this person will have, like, have the opportunity to have something more traditional. It says trust the divine plan. Angels are helping. Yeah. It's like they're trying to bring you and this person together. Yeah, wanting to be free, not ready for commitment. Yeah, independent, happy, single. I feel like this person just, they're not ready to be in a relationship. They got to sort out. They, they, and that's why they keep having, they're, they're not doing the work that they need to do. To be in a co commitment and actually thrive. And that's why they keep having this string of bad relationships. Yeah. Or them knowing that they don't want to commit or they're not ready for commitment, but still getting involved with people. Yeah, we have work. Somebody kind of feels like they need to get their finances together. That came out earlier. Like somebody feels like until they get their finances and stuff together, they're kind of stuck where they're at or they're stuck with a karmic or in a karmic situation. They're, they're karmic attachments or something like that. So now somebody feels that they need to hurry up and like get their finances together. Give me a few more of these. We have player. Yeah, that already came out. Playing the field, refusing to commit grass is greener syndrome. They always are looking for the next best thing or 
thinking that the grass is greener on the other side or they just like playing the field and having multiple options but strategy and gossip that i said that earlier gossiping about you worried others will talk hurt rumors about you planning their next move link being clever leaving nothing to chance what's up to a player something is brewing and what is brewing gypsy knowing the unknowable unconventional lifestyle see i don't like that engagement okay and we have thorny rose so yeah, we have fight for your love and engagement. So somebody's gonna be fighting for a relationship with you, talking about commitment and making you promises and wanting to make things official and marriage in the future. One more card to clarify that. But we have unvalued, see? They're gonna be coming in making some false promises and that card did come out earlier. It's like they're coming in, cause they, yeah, we have on the verge, losing emotional strength, breaking point. I told you, they, they're not gonna be able to hold back their feelings and emotions for much longer. But I think that this person is not ready to give you a traditional relationship. Like, they're going to try... That whatever they put you in at this time will be a third-party situation. I don't really know what this gossiping is, though. What is gossip? Dating? Ready to start dating? Meeting new love interest? Getting over someone? So, they heard? They heard that you were dating other people? Or, like, they're talking to somebody about you? And, like, what I'm hearing in my head is, like, they're talking to somebody about you. And how you're, like, not paying them any mind and you're you know you're acting like you don't care or you're like ignoring them or whatever you're doing and the people around them are like oh that that person must be dating other people that they must be in a relationship with somebody else or they may must have found somebody else they must be entertaining other people and i, I told you this person it's triggering this person because they're like dang like I, I, I don't feel like i can ever get over the collective but they're out there dating other people like and this may not even be something that's happening but they're talking to somebody about you there's gossip here and somebody is telling them, like, oh, yeah, that person's probably out there dating again and meeting new love interest. They're getting over you and blah, blah, blah. And it's triggering the hell out of this person. So that's maybe why they're trying to, they're going to come in and argue with you or they're going to, it's going to kind of light a fire under their butt to fight for you. Because it's like changing, like, it's like putting things into perspective for them. Yeah, addiction, though. Yeah, this person just, what is that? Karmic connection. There is some type of, like, destructive karmic connection. Yeah, full of turbulence, past life, unresolved issues, unsustainable relationship where they don't. Yeah, it's very one sided. Like whoever this person is that they're with, there's not mutual feelings there. Like they're not attracted to that person. Yeah, we have addicted to sex, drinking, etc. And destructive behavior, bad habits, behavior, bad habits, behavior.